Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this one of the tutorial, learn about sentiment analysis with the package natural. So first of all, let's start. So I'm just going to create a variable called sentiment. Right? It can be any name. Then I'm going to require the package. So require. Then I'm going to call it as natural. Dot the particular function that I want. So sentiment analyzer. Right, so, so that's what we need the first one. Okay, so to work with this particular package, first of all, you need to work with stems, you also need to work with tokenizers, and then the actual package itself. But first of all, let's work with the how to work with the stems. Yes, so var stemma, the variable we are creating, then require, then natural dot. A particular post stemma that you want to put stemma that's what we are using okay. now we are going to work with it so then let's create our first sentiment analyzer function so bar let's call it as analyzer it's going to be new sentiment right so this new sentiment is coming from here this function this thing that we have here so that is the main idea behind it and i'm going to pass in these three arguments i'm going to pass in the language then I'm going to pass in the stemma that you want to use. Then I'm going to pass in my affin, right? So affin is a group of words that, that, that have been analyzed, right? And which is which is used to do sentiment analysis, usually in sentiment analysis. So let's go with this. So affin. Perfect. So that is all that we need to do for this particular package. So now let's try and work and see how to work with it. So I'm going to give a central example. Also dot log and I'm going to pass in my analyzer. So it's going to be analyzer dot get sentiment, right? That's the function. And I'm going to pass in my test. So this it's supposed to be always in in an array, right? An array of lists. So it's going to be like this. So I like something like you see, I like these are the stuff that we have. So when I run this particular function like this, this particular option, yes, we have done. It's going to analyze it and then give us our result. So let me run it here. So node NLP sent. Perfect. So the sentiment analysis was a positive one. It is a positive sentiment of 0 0.33, right? It's not that high, but it's okay. So in case I change it and I use a different example, let's use a different example. Let's instead of making it like let's make it like I hate right of course I don't hate <laughs> let's say he hates he hates right if I save it and I run it it's going to give us a negative polarity or negative sentiment the reason is that the affin word consists of words right and I've just tagged them so in case it finds this word it's the only of them there based on the location that's going to give us a sentiment that is how it works that is how it's given to us as negative because of the way it's there. Okay, so that, that is how to work it. So in case you have a group of words, you have a group of sentences and you want to work with it. How do you do that? So now let's see an example of it. So it's going to be, let me increase it. It's going to be something like this. So we're just going to import some stuff. So var natural it's going to be, we need a, a tokenizer to be able to help because you have a, several groups of testing you want to work with it. Then it's going to be natural. So that's what we are going to work with for this for now right and i'm going to create a tokenizer so bar tokenizer so bar tokenizer going to be new natural dot word tokenizer you can use any of the tokenizers perfect so we are going to create a simple variable so we're using this particular tokenizer to be to do all our tokenization so let me paste some data so this is data that you're working with which is an array of all these particular stuff, right? So he likes eating rice all the time. The girl was angry at the driver. The movie was nice. The, the new book is a bestseller. Perfect. So to be able to analyze this particular stuff that you had, how do you do that? So it's going to be quite simple. So let me bring this one here. So I've created a list of a sample of data, right? Sample data that you're using it. So how do you work with it? These are all straight sentences right they are not tokenized like these ones 
So first of all, we need to work with it. You have to tokenize them before you can be able to use this particular sentiment on it. So let's see how to do that. So it's going to be our data dot for each loop. We're using a sample for each loop to do that. Then let's pass in our item or our, our test or whatever thing that we're passing inside. Then we're going to use a simple arrow, arrow function. Then I'm going to pass in whatever thing I want to do. So it's going to be console dot log. Then my analyzer will be using the same stuff that we had here. We'll be using the same analyzer here, right? To use that. So I'm going to pass in this particular analyzer here. Then I need to tokenize all the things that are coming from this test. Right? Because if I run this straight away, it's going to give us an error. So to work with this, I'm just going to call it tokenizer dot tokenize coming from this tokenizer that you created here. Then I'm going to pass in my item there, and this item that is coming from here, right? Perfect. So that is all that we need to do for this particular package to work. So let's save it and then let's run it. So let's see our results, right? It's going to be like this. Perfect. So it has been able to analyze it and then giving us the results. So one, two, three, four. We had four stuff, right? So it's able to analyze that the first one, he liked it in all the time was a positive polarity the girl was angry and the driver is a negative polarity so it's able to detect and give us as, as a negative polarity and then the second one as positive polarities so that is how to work with this particular package so in case you are working with a group of tests you have to first of all tokenize it right so that you need to work with it so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed